Minecraft 1.21 is shaping up to be a really interesting update, featuring the trial chambers, the breeze, new weapons and items, and much more. However, in comparison to other updates, it doesn't have too much to offer at the moment in terms of blocks. So today, I'm going to set myself the challenge of creating a custom TARDIS interior almost entirely made out of 1.21 blocks. I'm allowing myself five extra blocks that are already in the game, but to make it even more difficult, I'm setting a 90 minute timer for this build. This may seem like a long time, but my TARDIS should tutorial builds often take four to six hours, and they're copies of something that already exists, so this is definitely going to be interesting. If you end up enjoying, then please consider subscribing. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, which is absolutely insane, so let's see if we can get to 5,000 before the end of this year. Anyway, our 90 minute timer starts now. So over here, I've laid out all of the blocks that are included in this update to my knowledge, and it's not a lot really. We've got all of these tough blocks, which annoyingly doesn't actually include tough itself, which is kind of annoying, so that might have to be one of our five blocks already. And then we've got all of the copper blocks, so we've got the new chiseled copper, and the copper grates and everything, and we've got all of the different oxidized versions of these. However, again, we don't actually have copper itself. We've then got these spawners and this sort of heavy core block, which might be useful in some capacity. And then I've also included these decorated pots because we've got these new pot designs, and I guess the crafter. And I guess potentially we could use the new banner patterns in some capacity as well. But yeah, this is not a lot to work with. So just straight away, based on the like copper with the stone combination, I'm thinking something steampunky. I have a feeling this might end up looking quite like the trial chambers considering they use most of these blocks. I think based on the fact that we're going kind of steampunk, we're gonna need some spruce. And I think one of the most helpful blocks in that sense is going to be spruce trapdoors. So I think that's going to have to be one of our five. Oh, this menu looks so weird with the blur. I kind of like it though. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. I think we might also end up needing another spruce block in some capacity, potentially spruce logs or strip spruce, but we'll see how we go. And then I'm not going to add tough for now because I think we could be a bit creative and potentially use like the back of tough stairs as a tough block. Anyway, the time is ticking, so we're going to have to get started. I reckon with this sort of spruce and this tough and everything, we go kind of rustic. That's what I'm thinking with this, or at least to begin with. So I'm going to grab a few of these tough blocks and see where we go. I'm starting up here with a door. I've just got the door to start with, and then everything else has to be made of these 1.21 blocks, and then of course the five extra blocks that I choose. So let's see what we can do. Okay, I reckon these chiseled tough and chiseled tough bricks could actually make quite interesting pillar designs. Yeah, I mean, they certainly go together. I mean, this is all I've got for an entrance. It's not looking great so far. It's not really going with that rustic feel I wanted. I'm going to incorporate some of these copper bulbs and I think it's fair to say that I can use something to power them without it counting as another block. Oh, I don't like it, but I'm going to have to leave it for now. We're already five minutes in. This is insane. I did a video like this a while ago for 1.20, but I had access to loads of other blocks on top of the 1.20 ones. I don't know why I've made this so difficult for myself. I think this walkway with the tough stairs is kind of interesting. I've used a tough stair here to try and make it look like a tough block, which I think works quite well. And this polished tough is actually really interesting. In fact, I might turn this into stairs. Okay, I think we'll come back to the walls and stuff for now. I'm actually going to try and focus on making like a little bit of a console platform. I was originally going to go circular for this, but I think some sort of organic shape could work quite well if we end up wanting to go with a sort of rustic feel. So I'm just going to place some blocks randomly and see what happens. Yep, yeah, that's, that's definitely something. I kind of like it though. I can see it potentially working like some sort of organic stone shape in the middle with a little bit of texturing and a little bit of rejigging. I think this could work. You know what? After a little bit of texturing, it's not too bad. I considered putting in some tough bricks, but they stood out a little bit too much. Potentially, I'll incorporate some tough bricks over here instead. In fact, oh, I actually might give that a go. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I kind of like it, but I'll see where I go. But so far, we've not used any blocks outside of the 1.21 blocks, which is pretty good. Although, after 10 minutes, this is all we've got to show. Yeah, this is difficult. I have a feeling we are about to use some other blocks though, because next up I want to make the console and we're gonna need some slabs. And the only slabs that have been added in this update are the tough ones. And I really don't want to use more tough here. Unless we potentially do something like this for a console, that way we don't have to use any slabs or anything. It does look a bit weird, but I think it has potential. These heavy cores are really, really annoying because they're not centered in the middle of the block. You can place them on a block and it sits on it perfectly. But if you place them 
sort of underneath. As you can see, if we place another block, it's on the bottom of the block. It's really weird. Yeah, they're like aligned to the bottom as opposed to the middle, which makes it not great for building. It's almost like that's not what they intended it for. Okay, I've been fiddling back with this for a minute. For now, I've got rid of the sort of random weathering, and I'm going with a sort of design like this. I quite like this for a central rotor. It's okay, but I can't decide whether I prefer this being oxidized or weathered, or potentially even normal copper, actually. Yeah, see, I do really like the weathered copper. What about just with all of this? We could go all out and add a bit of oxidized into the mix. You know, I actually quite like that. Yeah, I think that looks better for the time being. Okay, and then we're gonna need some console decorations. I can't just leave it looking like this. I think I'm gonna have to give in and use a lever, which I guess does actually count as one of my five blocks, which is less than ideal. Yeah, that's gonna have to do for now because we've got to move on. I'm already over 20 minutes in. Okay, so we've got a lot of tough at the moment. So I do think we need to incorporate some more of the copper, potentially use these copper grates as actual grates. Yeah, that's actually not bad. And then if we add some vaults underneath, what I'm thinking is that the particles will go through and you might get some little smoke effects. At least that's what I'm hoping will happen. And it doesn't look like it does. Oh, that's kind of annoying. So now all I'm going to do is add a few more of these sort of platforms that can potentially go off to corridor entrances to try and shape out our TARDIS a bit. Okay, I've added some other platforms. I've increased the amount of copper grates, which I think looks kind of interesting. And then I've been experimenting with the crafter. I really like the bottom texture of the crafter, but annoyingly, you can only get it on the side or on the bottom. For some reason, no matter how you place it, you never end up with the bottom texture on the top, which is annoying, but unfortunately there's not a lot I can do about it. So I tried incorporating the side textures. I don't think it looks great, I've got to be honest. But we are officially 30 minutes in and wow, yeah, this is not looking great for 30 minutes. I've got to start going quicker. Okay, I've done a little bit more detail work. I've added these trapdoors and then I've also added these sort of bulb light kind of things, which I do think helps. But I think I now need to focus on the walls of this thing. I need to get some walls in place, otherwise it's just going to be a floating platform. So I'm not going to use polished tough for the whole thing, but I think I'm first just going to go around and create a bit of a shape. And as I said, I do want to go kind of rustic slash organic with this. I think these lights definitely help to achieve that rustic kind of feel. I'm hoping I might be able to have enough sort of spare blocks in the end to use some leaves around the place. I think that might definitely help, but we'll see how we go. For now, I'm just going to create a bit of a random shape around the outside and see where it gets me, I guess. Okay, I quite like this shape. Believe it or not, I do actually think we're starting to get somewhere. So I'm going to focus now and see if I can come up with a design for the walls. So we do have this entrance. I think I'm going to change it up a little bit. I think that entrance is a little bit better. I've incorporated the levers purely because I don't want to just use them on the console. It would feel like such a waste of blocks but I actually think they kind of look good, so I'm gonna leave them for now. Look, my standards are very low with this build, as you can see. Okay, I've decided we simply need some more color in here. It's just a necessity at this point. I can't make these walls out of tough with this whole platform being made out of tough. It'll look really, really bad. And so I've decided blocks three and four of our five outside of Minecraft 1.21 blocks are gonna be mushroom stems and spruce stairs, at least for now, because my plan is spruce stairs can easily be spruce planks. and I I think these two blocks together will really lighten the place up a bit and work quite nicely for some walls. So I'm going to see what I can do. Okay, I've got a design which I'm relatively happy with. I could really, really do with some spruce slabs right about now because these spruce trapdoors just aren't really cutting it. But I do quite like this crisscross thing. I'm incorporating some of the pillars and yeah, I'm going to see if I can copy this all the way around, which is actually going to be a bit of a nightmare now that I look at it. Why have I chosen such a stupidly difficult design? Oh my goodness. This is actually genuinely really quite a stressful challenge. If anyone else wants to attempt it, I'd love to see your guys' builds. And with that, we're at the halfway mark. I'm starting to get a little bit scared now. Okay, I've got all of the mushroom stem in. I've shot myself in the foot a little bit with this organic design because I didn't know whether to leave in the corners or not. So I've gone for sort of a combination and I guess we're just going to have to see whether it works with this whole crisscross design. And straight away, I've noticed a major issue. These pillars are either going to be really, really helpful in breaking it up like they are right here, 
or jut out quite a lot, which I think this one does. Yes, yeah, see, immediately right here, I've got the issue of what on earth am I supposed to do here? Because I can't play stairs, because they'll just connect with these ones. So I guess I'm going to have to change the angle of this. Actually, to be fair, that doesn't look too bad. I think that was a relatively easy fix, thankfully. Although I still think we're going to encounter some serious issues in the not-too-distant future. Yeah, see, already, just looking at the rest of these pillars, this one juts out far too much. So I reckon I'm going to get rid of it. And actually, just looking at this, it kind of looks cool not having a pillar there. I might do that going forward. I'm going to have to change up a little bit over here, but I don't think that's going to be too difficult, fingers crossed. I've just done a little one here because I hadn't quite accounted for it going all the way around. Hopefully, it'll work itself out. But yeah, I actually think this looks much better with the two between the pillars as opposed to one. Okay, I've kind of found my rhythm for placing these down, but as of now, we only have half an hour left. An hour is gone already. This is crazy. Okay, there's a lot of inconsistencies, but the walls of this TARDIS are pretty much done, and we've got 25 minutes left. I am pretty happy with these, but as you can see, I've left some spaces, and they are for some corridor entrances. So I'm going to attempt to build them. If I want any hope of finishing this TARDIS off, I can really only spend about five minutes on these things, so they're going to have to be simple. Now, my instinct here is to use something like the exposed copper, because I think that would look quite nice, but we don't have any stairs of that, and we've only got one block left, so so I'm going to have to go with even more tough and do something really quite simple. Okay, I've just gone with a slightly remodeled version of my 14th and 15th TARDIS console entrances, but this design alone has taken me about five minutes, so I need to place these around the TARDIS extremely quickly. Man, I really wish I had world at it right about now. Okay, we've at least got these corridor entrances in place. They don't look great, but what can you do? I mean, we've still got a lot of empty space in this TARDIS that I need to fill, so I'm going to prioritize that for now. Okay, so I would have loved to have the floor set in a bit, have it a few blocks down, but we don't really have time to add all the extra walls and stuff we need. So I'm just going to go with sort of this copper. And I think we should introduce this lighter copper now. I think that might look relatively interesting. And I'm going to use the slash fill command for that because I do not have time to place it manually. Okay, as expected, this looks absolutely terrible, but I think I can fix it. Oh, you can tell I'm panicking. The quality of this build is dropping by the second. Okay, and then I think I'm going to introduce some weather copper very much in patches. I think that would help make it look a bit less sort of random block spam. Okay, I think that has helped a little bit, but we've got less than 10 minutes left and this place needs a roof. So I think I'm going to use my final non 1.21 block and that's going to be a deep slate. And I think I'm going to go with deep slate tiles here. In the spirit of whatever random chaos is going on inside of this rustic slash steampunk slash weird looking TARDIS, I'm sort of placing the deep slate random randomly, not least because it saves some time as well, as we've only got about six minutes left. Do you know what? I actually don't mind the effect that's created, but it's now ridiculously dark. We need to solve that in less than five minutes. And do you know what? I think repeating these lights, but in the ceiling with some more weathered copper could actually look relatively interesting. Yeah, I actually quite like that. I think that looks quite good. And if we vary the heights a little bit, I think this could turn out to be pretty cool. I tell you what, I'd say that's actually pretty decent. I wonder if just lighting up all of the copper bulbs that I'd already placed would potentially look all right. Yeah, to be honest, I actually quite like that. I think that works well. I'm going to do that everywhere. Yeah, that's helped a lot. Okay, we're down to our final two minutes. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could add. You know what? I'm going to be bold. I'm going to get rid of all of the levers that are on the console, and I'm going to get rid of the levers up here, which frees up another block, and that means I can incorporate some leaves. I just think this will make a huge difference. That's if I can place them in time. Oh, I've only got a minute left. Oh my gosh, we've only got 10 seconds left. I've not really stepped back and seen what this has looked like, so I'm really hoping it's good. I'm just going to add some final few leaves. And that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that is it. My timer has gone off. And you know what? I'm actually really quite happy with this. I think it definitely came together in the last half an hour or so. Don't get me wrong, it really could be better. I think the leaves were a really good call. Oh, it would have looked so strange without the leaves. I mean, in my opinion, the only requirement for a TARDIS to be a TARDIS is to have a door and a console. We've certainly got a door because we started with that. And I mean, we've got a console, it's just not got any controls, but you know, you can add your own. So in the end, our five bonus blocks ended up being spruce trapdoors, spruce stairs, 
this mushroom stem, deep slate tiles, and then the oak leaves right at the very end. And I think we've used all of these pretty well, actually. I mean, the spruce trapdoors around here, I think, are actually a really nice detail. It helps to separate it a bit. They look good on the console. They look good on the walls. Oh my gosh, the walls. I mean, this was an absolute nightmare. Obviously, I cut most of it out. But yeah, this was so, so difficult. I mean, the design I chose ended up being really complicated. I have no idea why I did it. I had to remove parts of the wall and stuff to get it to work. But I do think it came together pretty nicely. The pillars look quite good as well. Yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with this. So there you go. That is my attempt at building a TARDIS using pretty much only blocks from Minecraft 1.21. I'd really love for some of you guys to attempt this challenge yourself. I had a lot of fun doing it. If you do end up attempting this challenge, make sure you post some pictures of your build in my Discord server. There is a link to that in the description. Anyway, if you end up enjoying this video, then please leave a like or comment. And if you'd like to see more content like this, then please subscribe. But I've been DT10 and I will see you in the next video.